Hi, Karen. Um, what was it like um, growing up with um, one of the Britain's most loved children's characters? And where did the inspiration for Paddington come from? Well, it, it was wonderful growing up with Paddington. He was a member of the family because uh, the, the inspiration came from a bear that my father bought for my mother over 60 years ago. And so he lived with us, uh, but the character himself lived with us as well. Wonderful. And um, what makes Paddington such an appealing modern character? Well, I think it's his personality. He means incredibly well. Um, he's a very kind, polite bear. He gets himself into scrapes. He's not naughty. He gets himself into scrapes by accident. You know things are going to go wrong for poor Paddington, but you also know they're going to come out all right in the end. And so I think people love that about him. I certainly do. <laughs> um, what was your favourite moment from uh, Paddington 2, from the movie? Goodness, I, I think I loved all the moments. Actually, I loved the opening scene where you're taken back just to reintroduce Paddington, how he arrives and you actually see him when he's a baby. And I loved that bit, it was very cute. But I also love some of the, the funny scenes as well. So, yeah. And um, and who is your favourite character from the film, uh, apart from Paddington, of course, and, and why? I, I think it has to be Mr Brown, Hugh Bonneville as Mr Brown, because he is very, very funny. And I think he just adds another dimension to, to the, the film. So every time I see him, he makes me laugh. <laughs> the scene where he enters, he breaks in Hugh Grant's house. Yes. I, I was in tears. I couldn't yes. stop laughing. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're quite right, actually. <laughs> <laughs> And if Paddington, that's like a quirky question for you, if Paddington became King of Britain, yes. uh, what would be his first resolution? I think that everybody has to eat marmalade for breakfast every day. So, <laughs> <laughs> so is there a special um, reason why Paddington's favourite food is sandwich? Well, probably because my father loved marmalade and he, knows be he knew bears like sweet things and also marmalade has chunks in it, the, the pieces of peel and they're very useful for all sorts of things if you're a bear so it has a double use. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic and um, how much time uh, did you spend on set this time? And how much input did you have into the film? I didn't have spend very much time on set. I certainly did set visits, um, but I'm, I'm not a filmmaker. So I was kind of there in the background. If anybody wanted advice on Paddington, what was right for Paddington, what wasn't, then I was there as a resource, if you like. And if Paddington had chosen another country to settle in rather than Britain, of course, uh, which one would it be and why? Oh my goodness, that's a very difficult one. Uh, possibly um, uh, France, because he like he does like his food. My father loved France, so I think he might have he might have uh, uh, moved Paddington to France if he had to move him anywhere. And um, was there any kind of story that your father want, still wanted to tell uh, about Paddington, and then he didn't manage? Um, well, he to was write actually anymore. writing a story uh, b b before he died, and I think that is going to be published. But I can't tell you about that ah. yet. So. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, well, it takes. Bit. It does take place in London. So ah, yes, yes. Wow! Very so I can't wait to, yes, to, yes. to hear that. Yes. And thank you so much, Karen, for Lovely. your time. Thank you.